Hello and welcome to STEM with Mr N, where every week I perform different demonstrations and explain the science behind what we're seeing. This week I'm going to take a look at capillary action along with some chromatography. Let's check it out. The first thing I'm going to do is set up the experiment to my right so we've got a chance to see it working before I have to stop filming. I've got three small glasses which each have water and a different colour of food colouring in them. I've got my orange, my green and my red. In between each of these glasses I have an empty glass. I'm going to put a strip of normal tissue linking each of the glasses. The orange to the empty glass, the empty glass to the green, the green to the next empty glass and that empty glass onto the red. And that is all I need to do with it for now. So I'm just going to keep it sitting there with the camera filming it while I carry on with the rest of the episode. So what is capillary action? Capillary action is when liquid travels up a solid seemingly going against the pull of gravity. To demonstrate this, I have a bowl here with some orange food colouring in it, I have some paper towels, some string and some normal paper tissue. First, I'm going to dip the paper towel into the bowl of water and orange food colouring. And you'll see that the liquid is travelling up the paper towel. Next, I'm going to do the same thing but with the paper tissue. And you'll see that the water and food colouring is travelling up the paper tissue much faster than it did with the paper towel. And finally, I'm going to dip the bit of string into the water and food colouring. And you'll see that although some of the water has been absorbed by the string, it's not really travelling up the string as much as it did with the paper towel and the paper tissue. So how does capillary action work? Well, water is cohesive, which means all the molecules that make up the water stick together. But water is also adhesive, which means it quite easily sticks to other materials. When the first water molecule sticks onto the paper towel, the paper tissue or the string, it pulls the water molecule that it's stuck to along with it, and the water molecules keep pulling like that up the paper towel or up the paper tissue or the bit of string. This is also how plants draw water up from the soil. It uses capillary action so that the water can go up through the inside of the plant and spread out to its leaves and petals. The next demonstration is going to combine capillary action with chromatography. In this instance, chromatography is the breaking down of ink by a liquid. Now last week I said that white light isn't purely white, it is made up of all of the colours of the rainbow. Well black ink isn't actually black, it is made up of a mixture of different colours. To demonstrate this, I'm going to put a black circle onto a piece of paper tissue, and then I'm going to put the end of the paper tissue into a bowl of water. As the capillary action draws the water up through the paper tissue, chromatography is going to take place where the water is going to break down the black ink. And you'll notice that as the black ink starts breaking down, we're starting to see other colours here. There are blues, there's purples, there's reds, there's a wee bit of yellow. So you'll see that the black ink isn't actually just black, it is made from a mixture of different colours. This time, I'm going to do the same experiment again, but instead of drawing a black spot, I'm going to draw a rainbow onto my paper tissue. And let's see how colourful it looks once the capillary action and the chromatography have taken place.
You'll notice that as the capillary action is drawing water up through the paper tissue and the chromatography is breaking down the ink, that the colours are starting to mix as the water passes through the layers. You'll also notice that we have some black patches appearing where some of the colours are mixing. This is further evidence that black ink is made up of a mixture of different colours. To finish with, I'm going to check in on the experiment that I set up at the start of this video. And you'll notice that capillary action is taking place through the paper tissue. The orange water is travelling through the paper tissue into the empty cup. The green water is doing the same in both directions to the two empty cups. And the red water is also going through the paper tissue into the empty cup. You may be able to see that where the two bits of tissue of different colours are touching, there has been some colour transfer between the two tissues. This further shows the adhesive properties of water, that they like to stick to other materials, and it's transferring the coloured water from one tissue into the other. And as these colours mix, we are starting to see new colours. There's also a small amount of water starting to appear in the empty cups. If this was left for long enough, you would notice even more water in these cups, and it should be the colour of a mixture of the two different types of food colouring entering that cup. Set this experiment up at home and leave it for a few hours, then check in on it to see how your capillary action rainbow is getting on. Well, that's all for this week. I hope you enjoyed it. As always, I would like to take this opportunity to answer any science questions you have about any science topics at all. So feel free to email me at stemwithmrn at outlook.com and I'll get back to you with answers to your questions. You can subscribe to the channel by pushing the button here and I've put links here to the other STEM demonstrations that I've done so far. This has been STEM with Mr N, exploring capillary action and chromatography.